for his next film, Vincent headed back to England to appear in the 1968 historical drama, Witchfinder General. Released in the U.S. under the title The Conqueror Worm, Witchfinder General is based on the 1966 novel of the same name by Ronald Bassett. It is loosely based on the real-life exploits of Matthew Hopkins, played by Vincent Price, and his associate John Stern, played by Robert Russell, self-appointed witch hunters for the Crown of England. They roamed the countryside in the 1600s during the British Civil War, investigating reports of witchcraft and forcing confessions from the accused through a series of brutal tortures. You enjoy torture, don't you, Stern? And you, sir? In the film, their investigations lead them to the town of Brandiston. Among the accused there is the town priest, John Lowe's, played by Rupert Davies. The duo tortures Lowe's until he is near death. <laughs> His daughter Sarah, played by Hilary Dwyer, informs Hopkins she will do anything to save her father, even giving in to his sexual advances. The next day, Hopkins is called away on business, and while he is out of town, Stern, who is jealous of Hopkins, rapes Sarah. When Hopkins returns, he learns of Stern's actions and foregoes his promise to Sarah to keep her father Stern, safe. The priest, I've changed my mind. They execute him alongside two other accused witches. <laughs> Sarah's fiancé is a soldier named Richard Marshall, played by Ian Ogilvy. He returns from the war to learn what has happened to Sarah and her father. Incensed, he vows to make Hopkins and Stern pay for their actions. He marries Sarah in a makeshift ceremony, then sets out on a quest for revenge. Witchfinder General was directed by Michael Reeves for Tygon Pictures and distributed by AIP. Reeves was a young up-and-coming director, only 24 years of age at the time of production on this film. He co-wrote the script and initially intended for Donald Pleasance to play the lead role of Matthew Hopkins. The studio insisted on Vincent Price in the role, however, which incensed the young director. He treated Vincent coldly throughout filming and he and Price butted heads constantly. Vincent Price was one of the biggest stars in the world at this point. He naturally resented the snot-nosed young director treating him so rudely. This resulted in an uncomfortable shooting set and an antagonistic relationship between the two men. Reeves rode Price constantly during the shooting, insisting he refrain from any semblance of camp delivery for which Price is so well known. The end result, however, was hard to argue. Price delivered one of the best performances of his entire career, a ruthless and vicious character played deadly serious throughout the film. The film has been criticized for its excessive violence, which features multiple instances of sadistic torture and rape. The end of the movie is especially brutal and one that leaves a lasting impression on the viewer. It also features what is perhaps the most violent death scene for Price from all of his pictures. Witchfinder General was censored in England before release, with some of the violence removed. It still met with heavy criticism. In America, it was released on May 15, 1968, under the title The Conqueror Worm, in an attempt to make it fit in with the Poe series of AIP films. They added a voiceover at the beginning and end of the film, featuring Price reciting lines from the Poe poem of the same name. Otherwise, the film has no connection to Poe whatsoever. Reeves was next assigned to direct Price in The Oblong Box, but died tragically a few months after the release of Witchfinder General from a drug overdose. Whether accidental or by design remains up for question, but what is certain is the film world lost a bright young talent. Interestingly, Price would be reunited with both Hilary Dwyer and Rupert Davies in The Oblong Box. Witchfinder General stands out as one of the best films for Price's entire career. While a difficult and personally challenging shoot for Price, the end result was one of his best performances. It's a shame that Reeves died at such a young age, as it would have been interesting to see what the two would have come up with had they worked together again. Next up, it's back to the Wild West for Price in the film More Dead Than Alive. I don't think you'll find that easy.
I love my garden, but I hate weeds. Even poisoning is too good for them. It leaves the roots, and they sometimes resurrect themselves. What you need is something far more sinister. Zero weed killer. It actually cuts off the weeds' food supply. And two weeks later, they starve to death. Roots and all. It's like tying their ravenous little roots into knots. Thank you, Zero.